Welcome back everyone to another video in our joystick mod series. On our journey so far, we built our joystick, programmed it to WASD or up, down, left, right, explored alternative software, XPatter and Rewaz, and looked at the exciting console support that this mod has. If you haven't watched those videos, the links will be down below. There are things you will need for this mod, a Teensy with or without pins, jumper cables or solderable wire, for the version that you pick and a joystick with or without pins so we can connect this all together once your joystick is complete and put together we can go ahead and start programming our joystick for the x input library here in this video i'll be showing you each and every step to get it up and running this is a straightforward no bullshit god and turning your joystick into a legit xbox 360 controller granted though this is for the pc only so now we don't have to do any more fighting with alternative software that emulates a controller. We get to ditch the likes of World of Joysticks, Xbox 360 controller emulator, Rewaz. You are going to enjoy the ability to plug and play and you can take this wherever you go. I've added the links down below so you can click on those and download Arduino and Teens Arduino. See you in the next step. And in this step, we're going to open up our Arduino, navigate to our tools, go to manage libraries, and in the search bar, type in X input and install the library. So my dumbass looked at everything David Madison released and internally thought, well, shit, you know, this looks easy. I just got to open my Arduino folder on my PC, make the necessary changes to the files, and everything should be good to go. Change some code here, type some stuff there. Well, you know, I was horribly wrong. I should have put more attention into what was wrote about, and I'm going to show you exactly how stupid I was. Let's show you how easy this is. In addition to the Arduino and TG Arduino links below, I've added the links to both GitHub repositories. The repositories we're using are the Arduino X input and Arduino X input Teensy. Let's begin our install. Feel free to pause the video at any time as this is very quick. Let's open our first repository and navigate to code and proceed to download the zip file. Proceed to do the same for the second repository. You don't need to extract the files just yet. What you need to do now is open your Arduino installation folder on your PC. We're going to locate our hardware folder. For me, it was my program files, the x86 one. Then I clicked on Arduino, and then I clicked on hardware. Extract your zip files from a moment ago and copy those folders into the hardware folder you see here. Yours should look the same as what's on screen. With that, we're just about done. For this last step though, it is easier to have two hardware windows open on your computer at the same time. When you've got two hardware folders open at the same time, for which you can see right now for me, we're going to be relocating two more files and then we're complete. In the first window, open the Arduino X input Teensy master folder. Click on Teensy, click on AVR. You'll see right now that mine is empty because I've already copied it over. 
on your second window, you're going to open up Kinsey, AVR, and you're going to see cores and boards. Those two would have been in this window, but I've already copied it. Copy these, carry them over, and replace those files. You need to replace it for this to work. And with that, you're done. Your setup is complete, and we can get on to programming with the X input in Arduino. And everyone, we are in our final step, step four, programming our Teensy through Arduino for our X input joystick. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to tools and we're going to set up what we need to set up for the joystick to work. Under tools, we're going to go board, Teensy LC, the USB type, we'll click on X input, our CPU speed at 48. We're going to optimize at the smallest code. Our keyboard layout will be US English, and we don't have to touch the port during the step. For the last and final thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Examples. All the way down at the bottom, you'll see X input, and from there, we're going to click on Gamepad Pins. This code was developed by David Madison, who we've used the entire uh, duration so far to get our joystick working. He's got his permissions in there. Now we're going to be using this for our left joystick, so we're going to change false true. And depending on what pins you've connected your Teensy to, you may have to change some of your analog pin numbers here to represent what your joystick has. And with that, all we need to do is go up to verify. You'll see it processing at the bottom. And this shows us our full X input joystick is working and ready to go. You just have to plug in your joystick now, flash it, and you're all set up.